Monte Carlo in the Principality of Monaco hosted the sixth edition of the World Policy Conference. Around 300 politicians, businessmen and representatives of international organizations have gathered here to develop a geopolitical and economic analysis of all the regions of the world. On the first day of the conference, opened by Prince Albert II, came the news that the Iranians had left negotiations on their nuclear program after the U.S. decided to extend sanctions. With such a sensitive issue, I expect, of course, there to be regular crises and departures. But I also expect there to be a return to the table. I hope first that we do everything possible to get all the partners around the table again, because the Iranian crisis is probably in geopolitical terms the most sensitive crisis today for world security. Uh, we believe that every sovereign nation has the right to own and use nuclear technology for peaceful purposes. But as Turkey, we are against nuclear weapons, we are against weapons of mass destruction in our region and beyond. The Syrian crisis, as well as the decision by the US and UK to stop the supply of arms to the rebels, have been debated at the conference. I've never been in favour of supplying weapons as long as we don't have a very clear idea of who will use them. There's much confusion today in Syria. We need to be very careful about the supply of weapons and support that we give, but at the same time do our best to bring all the partners to the table. The European Union is also experiencing a geopolitical crisis with Ukraine's refusal to sign the Association Treaty and the huge demonstrations in Kiev. I think at some point there will be an agreement with the European Union. But there must also be an understanding on the part of the EU. It must be able to honor its commitments. Keeping an open discourse on Ukraine is fine, but does the European Union really have the will and the means to heavily invest, even economically, in Ukraine? I'm much less certain about that. For Europe, the economic crisis has, first and foremost, caused a social emergency, with high unemployment in several countries, especially among young people. We've approved a strategy for helping European countries with their employment policies. For example, a job guarantee for young people. The European Commission also manages contributions by the member states and has decided to invest 6 billion euros over the next two years to support specific programs for youth employment. Cyber security and privacy protection is another huge issue that for Europe could affect not only ethical matters but also its economic competitiveness. We should be aware of the, the uh, economic impact of the big data revolution. The Americans will have a huge advantage of energy prices, which is going to have a detrimental impact on the European economy. They might also get a big advantage on big data. So we should not give the Americans too many competitive advantages. There are no simple solutions to the many international emergencies. Diplomacy, dialogue and democratic confrontation remain, according to most opinions, the way to move forward. La strada da seguire. Giovanni Maggi, Euronews, Monte Carlo.